want an apology. I need to know what happened. At last I knew you were heartbroken over losing VJ and I, and I don't want to argue. I, I, I need to know. When you and VJ left, I wasn't coping too well. I threw myself back into my work. There was another outbreak of cholera. And I was trying to support the medical staff, but things just got out of hand. People were dying. In the middle of all of that, I, I met Grace. And her husband. Her husband? Moyle. They were both teachers at the local primary school. Moyle got hit with cholera. They didn't have enough water or antibiotics. I was there with Grace when Moyle died. And so when Tabu came down with rheumatic fever, we both knew that there was a chance that he could have heart damage. We tried everything. Tried to get him into the hospital in Harare, but we were having no luck. So you brought him back to Australia? What was I supposed to do? Did you uh, manage to catch up with Roman while you are in the city? Yeah, no, he, uh, he sends his love to everybody. Don't know that he's overjoyed about the prospects of being a grandfather, though. <laughs> Hi, hon. I'll be with you in a tick. Um, no, I just want a coffee to go. OK. Don't suppose you feel like any company. Actually, I'm glad that I bumped into you. I wanted to apologise for blowing up at you last week. You were under a great deal of stress. Yeah, but getting mad at you when you were just looking out for me, that's not fair. Well, it won't be the first time that the law has upset someone's plans. I'm just sorry I'm the one who has to deliver the bad news. No, I needed to know. You know, I guess still in my heart, I want to give Marilyn and Sid my baby. I just don't know how to do it. Uh, well, that might not be an issue anymore. She's thinking of other options. Um, Inter-country adoption. So do you love her? You care about her? You care about her. But did you care about me or did you love me? Because I loved you. It was unfair to expect you and Vijay to stay in Zimbabwe with me. I mean, we both agreed to end this relationship. Yeah, yeah, only because you were so determined to pursue your missionary work and now you're back here and you're married to someone else. What, am I meant to just expect that everything that we went through just meant nothing? If you don't have the respect to tell me the truth, then why did you come here at all? Because I wanted to explain what happened. But I, I don't even know how to begin to do that. What Grace and Tabo went through, the suffering I witnessed, it, it made me question everything I truly believed in. Um, you know what, I, I think you should just go. I, I just want to make you understand. No, you don't. I tell you how I feel, and you tell me about Grace and Tavo's suffering. Come on, Leah, you know I didn't mean it like that. I'm the one who failed here, not you. I'm so sorry to put you through this. Can you go? Just, just go. Get out! How's the study going? Okay. Slow. Well, that look. What's on your mind? No, nothing. I just I didn't realize you and Marilyn were thinking about adopting a child from overseas. That's like a whole other thing, right? What did Marilyn say to you? No, nothing. I, I just saw the website she was looking at. Oh, she's just uh, doing research, that's all. No big deal. Fair enough. As long as you two still want a baby, that's the main thing, right? <laughs> well, yeah, the main thing is I want Marilyn to be happy. You know, and I'm sure, you know, when a baby comes into our life, no matter where it's from, I will love it as much as you and your brother. Well, come on. Both know you love me way more than Dex. <laughs> that, my dear, depends on the day. You have to say that. But what you're doing, it's, 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 a really, it's a really big thing, and if you have any doubts, you should tell Marilyn before she takes things further. Yeah, well, to be honest, I'd rather not talk any more about it, today at least. I really wish I could get Marilyn's mind off babies long enough that we could concentrate on enjoying our relationship. 
You really think that's possible? <laughs> oh, there you are, Doe. I was about to call to make sure you're okay. What happened? Don't want to talk about it right now. Uh, love, you know, you can go home. You don't have to be here. I need to work. Keep busy. Okay. That's what you want? Yep. Getting on with my day. I know it's early, but I thought I'd grab a beer. I just made some new discoveries in the amenities block. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I could do with a drink myself. So have you seen Leah? Yep. How'd it go? I wanted to talk to her, but um, she got upset and then things got out of hand. How? Out of hand how? I mean, you told her everything, didn't you? I mean, you are. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But I thought maybe this would be a great opportunity just, just to give us some space. Well, Andrew, it's a bit late for that, don't you think? I mean, Lee is going to see Gracie and Tarbo walking around, and VJ too, for that matter. I mean, they both deserve to know the truth. You've been biting your tongue since last night. If you need to get anything off your chest, Miles. Elijah, you don't want to know what I need to get off my chest. Do you still want that beer? I reckon I'm going to need it. Well, here you go. Nice cup of peppermint tea. Oh, thank you. Oh, adoption sites. Anything interesting there? Um, well, I just thought it was an option that we could explore. I mean, there's only a few countries that accept unmarried applicants, and with our ages, it's unlikely we can get a child under two years old, and then there's the screening process, the background checks. I mean, I understand why they have to do all that, but... It's so complicated, and even then it could take two to three years, and we'll probably be too old by then. Yeah, to be honest, um, Marilyn, I wouldn't mind if we um, took a little break from, from this. Uh, even just for the night. You know, I just would like to put the focus back on us for a little bit. Why don't we go out for dinner? Just you and me. Somewhere special. Yeah? That'd be lovely. Thanks, Sid. Great. I've got to go and pick up Dex, but I'll be right back. OK, don't be long. Nicole? Hi. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Come over now. That's good for you. OK, bye. Nick, hi, come hi. in. Um, Sid's just popped out, so uh, we can wait for him. No, 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 it's OK. Look, I just want to get this out. You can tell him later. Look, I know that I have been mucking you both around, and if I let myself, I could just keep going around and around in circles trying to figure out the best way to handle this. You know, but that's not going to help anyone. Marilyn, you've been there from the start. You know what I wanted, and you know what I want. And that's for this baby to be loved and cherished. You know, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it, but we can find a way. That's if you still want to adopt the baby. Oh, Nick, of course I want to adopt. It's all I've ever wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Let me guess, you've made a decision? I've made a decision. My dad is going to be so happy. <laughs> I don't want to give you a hard time because I know you're struggling, but that's kind of the whole point. You weren't in a rational headspace to make that kind of decision. I don't see how helping a vulnerable child isn't a rational decision. There must have been some other way to bring Tarbo back to see a heart specialist. His condition was deteriorating. We didn't have the time to wait until we could raise funds for his medical treatment or to apply for humanitarian aid. Elijah, I understand what you're doing. You're trying to save two people's lives because you feel bad about the fact that you're going to help those who are suffering around you. I get that. No, you don't. What I was doing was trying to do the right thing by everybody. You're a man of the cloth. Ever heard the sanctity of marriage? I don't need you to preach to me. I understand why you're trying to be quiet, but you have to tell Leah this. I've told her enough. And what? She's supposed to have ESP and figure out the rest? Elijah, I saw you last night. You clearly have feelings for Leah. And she's got a lot of unresolved stuff going on since the breakup. 
You are my best friend. But all due respect, you have no idea what you're talking about, and you have no right to judge me. Sit. I'll bring the boy in. Thanks for the beer. Next time on Home and Away. Charlie, this has got River Boys written all over it. Intimidating people is their favourite pastime. You ever heard of innocent until proven guilty? So, this is where you live. People like myself don't keep company with the likes of you. <laughs> Be honest, is Elijah's marriage what I think it is? Yes. Why did Elijah choose another family? Explain it to me, Mum. I just need some time to let the dust settle. And in the meantime, he just let four lives hang in the balance. Why did God make everything change? Why did he let this happen? God didn't make everything change. I did.